The Kalamazoo Public Library connects you to the world. Your library card gives you access to thousands of years of human thought and creativity. Light sculptures at Central Library in downtown Kalamazoo symbolize the interchange between our community and the global village. Holographic materials cast rainbows that catch the imagination. This is an impressive building today, but it grew from modest beginnings more than a century ago. Gifts from community members helped the city buy land at the corner of South and Rose Streets and built the library's first permanent home in the early 1890s. The current building first opened in 1959. Now, after extensive expansion and renovation, this dazzling building has reopened, but the past is not forgotten. A magnificent mosaic window salvaged from the original 1893 building lights the entrance to the local history room. Community information librarian Marjean Gladys loves to talk about her work environment. This new facility is a marvelous place. It's, um, I tell people, it's like working in a church, especially when the sun shines. The Kalamazoo Public Library's mission is to provide open access to quality services that meet the informational, cultural, and leisure needs of customers of every age. Adult Services keeps current with the latest publications, bestsellers, and electronic resources. Finding the information a customer wants is easier than ever using modern technology. With dozens of public computers, the library offers access to valuable subscription databases, specialized CD-ROMs, and the Internet. Reference staff and a computer trainer help customers learn to use the library's systems. At the Kalamazoo Public Library, the whole world is at your fingertips. The library's own website links you to many subjects. Art, business, and newspaper links are very popular. Electronic Resources Librarian Kathy Ruddick knows the Kalamazoo Public Library is leading the way in technological services. I think a lot of Michigan libraries now are becoming into the, the 21st century, but Kalamazoo Public Library has been um, kind of ahead of the rest. Uh, we've had computers for quite a few years, uh, and they are in use all the time. Uh, there is a great demand for the information that we have available here. Carolyn, the library's online catalog, lets people find the material they want with ease. You can locate any material at KPL by title, subject, author, or keyword. And you can also search the catalogs of libraries around the world. If you find material at other KPL branches, we'll deliver it to the location nearest you. Or you can borrow materials from libraries across the country and beyond through interlibrary loan. Making material available to customers is what the library is all about. Kalamazoo Public Library keeps its materials up to date by reviewing sources and accepting requests from the community. David Senecal is Adult Services Librarian. Our primary focus, of course, is on print materials, um, the wide variety of books that are available, everything from light recreational reading, fiction, and bestsellers, and then, of course, the reference service, the reference desk from which we answer. All kinds of questions, everything from just ordinary things like telephone numbers and addresses to um, just about anything you can imagine. You never know from one minute to the next what kind of a question you're going to get. When it comes to gathering information, think first of the Kalamazoo Public Library. KPL maintains an in-depth, award-winning community database on people, events, organizations, and businesses. The database includes thousands of area businesses, agencies, and organizations and more than a million citations to local newspapers and magazines. The Kalamazoo County Law Library is another service unique to KPL. Legal research is much easier with a helpful staff and access to the Internet. Movable stacks maximize the space for law materials. Attorney Bob Davidoff enjoys having the entire library nearby when he does research. Definitely it's nice to have the facilities of the main library right within an easy reach of uh the legal materials and the fact that this facility um, has all the law books in a small space makes it very handy but then again uh, you can you have uh, ready access to some related materials which you may need to look at when you're doing legal research. A trip to the library can be a real family affair. The children's room at the Central Library opened in 1896 and was one of the first ten children's rooms in the country. Makes himself a cocoon and of course, two weeks later becomes a butterfly, and children love that story. 
Mary Coletto Reif is the community liaison for children. She loves to watch children discover this enchanting room full of books, puzzles, artwork, puppets, and toys for make-believe, and the castle with its storyteller's throne. Everything here is child-sized. Books and magazines are reachable, and the chairs and tables would fit Goldilocks just right. Children learn computer skills while playing educational games and accessing the internet. And, and there are people to give them attention, you know, individuals can approach. It's, this isn't a classroom setting. This is a place for children to uh, come in and be accepted as they are, one-on-one. -on -one. The library also has an area just for teens. KPL's Young Adult Services provides homework resources for 7th through 12th grade students plus a tantalizing collection of popular paperbacks, especially fantasy, science fiction, and fiction series. The young adult area features inviting lounge chairs and a special magazine section. Computers and quiet study rooms are nearby. Amanda Green is the young adult library assistant. Just like to come and sit down here because it's quiet and it's like their own section. And they, and they like to be feel where they can just sit and talk with their friends or look at books or magazine and nobody's saying, okay, are you studying? are you researching, but they can come and be comfortable and enjoy the atmosphere and young adults. Another unique aspect of KPL's service to teens is the Young Adult Advisory Group. Young people with an active interest in reading volunteer every other week to read books and rate them on a scale of one to four stars. They produce a book list for their peers to enjoy and create a new reading game program each summer. And it's a really popular group, and the kids that are involved in are really excited about what they're doing. And they're always looking for new creative things to do. Impressive audiovisual services are another resource for everyone to enjoy at the library. KPL's collection includes current and foreign features, classic and children's films, and PBS documentary and instructional videos. You can check them out free of charge. The audio collection includes CDs and cassettes with a strong emphasis on classical music and jazz. A variety of books on cassette and popular multimedia kits are also available. Before checking out a CD, you can take it to one of the listening stations. This audiovisual service is one of the most popular sections at the Kalamazoo Public Library. Carl Knack is a library assistant in the audiovisual department. All sorts of age groups can come down here. Um, we've got lots of kids' videos. Um, we've got lots of uh, cassettes for the kids to listen to. Um, we've got lots of older programs uh, on audio tape that older folks can listen to. Um, just something for everybody down here in the audiovisual department. Many of KPL's central library services are also available at the district's four branch libraries. The Alma Powell Branch Library in the Douglas Community Center on Kalamazoo's north side. The Eastwood Branch Library on Gale Avenue off East Main in Kalamazoo Township. The Oshtemo Branch Library on West Main in Oshtemo Township. And the Washington Square Branch Library on Portage Street in the Edison neighborhood. All of the branches tailor their services to meet the needs of their neighborhoods and local schools. Most customers live within walking distance of their local branch library. Nancy Davis-Smith is lead librarian at Washington Square. So we think of ourselves as a small main library in that we offer all the functions that the central library can offer, but we're on a smaller scale. Other neighborhoods look forward to visits by KPL's Bookmobile. This traveling library carries current fiction and nonfiction books, magazines, and a variety of music and books on cassette to more than 50 locations each month. You can reserve and return items from any KPL location at the Bookmobile. Outreach Services helps KPL customers with special needs. Via Mail sends materials to customers who can't get to the library. KPL also provides deposit collections of reading and listening materials to more than 20 senior and adult facilities. These collections are regularly updated. Special equipment in the Blanchfield Friedman Room allows the blind and visually impaired to enjoy many of the same services as other customers. The expert reader converts text to speech while the Spectrum Optilec magnifies text and photos in full color. A brailler types braille symbols for the blind. Generous gifts from the community, like the one that established the Friedman Room, help KPL meet its mission for special customers. 
donations also created the Clarence L. Miller Family Local History Room. Here you can research family, home, or business history using the extensive collection of books, periodicals, maps, photographs, and newspaper clippings. Marjean Gladys loves helping people explore their roots. I happen to think that people deserve answers about where they live, with whom they live, what has happened here, what has made the area um, a unique area, and we're very unique here. The library welcomes gifts and donations. The Friends of the Library support KPL programs and projects with income from used book sales and volunteer hours. This nonprofit organization typifies the giving spirit found in our community library. Just imagine a place to relax and read. Just imagine a safe place for kids to learn and play. Just imagine a world of information at your fingertips. The Kalamazoo Public Library. Just imagine.